Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. I am Sylvie Febrianti. I am come from University of Bungkulu. So, today's in seminar, I will explain an article called Targeting the Human Cerebellum with Transcranial Direct Current Stimulation to Modulate Behavior, a Meta-Analysis. Abstract of this article include Background Transcranial direct current stimulation or TDCS is increasingly used to study motor and non-motor related function of the cerebellum. The aim of the present study was to quantifically review a valuable study to estimate the efficacy of cerebellar, sorry, cerebellar TDCS in altering motor and cognitive related behavioral performance in healthy volunteers. The present meta-analysis include 22 some control, sorry, include 32 some control studies. Result from random EVEC modeling of the cumulative of EVEC site demonstrate that anodal and cathodal TDCS to the cerebellum were effective in changing performance. No evidence for polarity dependent event of cerebellar TDCS was found. Current findings established the feasibility to target motor and non motor related cerebellar function with TDCS, but argue, sorry, but arguably due to anatomical differences between the cerebellum and cerebral cortex, the polarity of TDCS is not predictive of the direction of the behavioral change in healthy volunteers. The observation that exogenous with electric direct current or DC applied to the primary motor cortex or M1 have polarity dependent effect on corticospinal instability introduced novel op op sorry, opportunities in the field of non-invasive brain stimulation to study brain function relation. Nowadays, transcranial disease stimulation or TDCS is routinely used as a means to modulate a study function of the cerebral cortex in the healthy and pathological brain. Neuro Physiological evidence for the ability to modulate cerebral function using transcranial electric current comes from previous work that administered single high voltage transcranial electric stimuli across the base of the school and modulated activity in the denate thalamocortical pathway to M1. In more studies, Administering with electric direct current over the observation, sorry, current over the posterior fossa also saw it to be effective in modulating cerebellar output. Pirate the cerebral cortical transcranial magnetic stimulation was used to demonstrate an increase of M1 excitability following cathodal CDCS, whereas a reduction of M1 excitability was measured after anodal CDCS. In the 
in the further support of the physiological data, complete, complete, sorry, computational modeling studies have confirmed that exogenous wake electric current at intensity of 2 mR can reach the outer layer of the cerebellar cortex. In spite of available evidence, several issues that include the scope to the cerebellum distance limited spatial erosion of TDCS and the unknown associated, sorry, associated with the event of exogenous their current at the cerebral level can cause considerable variance in extent to which DC stimulation is consistent in effectively, effectively modulating the cerebellum. Furthermore, whether CDCS has similar anodal cathodal polarity dependent effect as observed for DC stimulation to MI is still an open question. Together with the exciting skepticism on the reliability on reliability of CD of TDCS event, we perform a meta analysis of some control studies to examine the to examine the effect of TDCS to the cerebellum on motor non motor function in healthy volunteers. The aim of the present study was twofold. First is assess the efficiency and reliability of CDCS to include behavioral effect. And the second is to test the hypothesis that anodal CDCS improved and cathodal CDCS impairs performance. Study selection. A little research was con conduct sorry was conducted using the scientific online database PubMed to identify potential study for inclusion in meta analysis in the period between January 2000 and March 2017. The literature search identified a total of 1,084 articles. After the completion of study ret sorry, of study retrieval and removal of duplicates, title and abstract of the 90, 90 sorry, 96. Record remained were screened against inclusion or exclusion criteria. 60 articles were selected to undergo full text examination for eligibility. And additional exam studies were ex excluded. The remaining 32 studies were include the present meta-analysis. Performance accuracy was our primary dependent variable of interest reaction times were used in case no data no on a, sorry on accuracy were available. Descriptive data were taken from each study, sample size, mean, and standard deviation or SD of the outcome user for the city simulation and the sum condition in case standard errors of the means or SA we provide SD were calculated by applying the following formula. 
to address our first research question related to efficacy and reliability of CDCS to induce behavioral effect, the unsigned cumulative effect size were tested in random effect model. And so address our second research question concerning the assumer polarity dependent effect of CDCS. Data were analyzed in a similar way. What? Sorry, a similar way as was done in the first series of analysis, except that the sign effect size were used. Okay, that is a data synthesis and analysis. And now the result. Two, sorry, one. So MACDCS is effective in modulating motor and non-motor related performance, but there is no evidence for polarity-dependent effect of anodal and cathodal CDCS on behavioral inside. Sorry, behavioral indicates of cerebral functioning in healthy volunteers. So, in the discussion we had, in this study, we found that 1 or 1, 2 MA of TDCS targeting in cerebellum is able to modulate cognitive and motor performance in healthy volunteers. Modeling studies suggest that the observed effect can be attributed to changes in cerebellar function. Estimation of electric field properties of bipolar DC stimulation using an in union based cerebellum buccinator muscle montage so that due to the volume and homogeneous structure of the cerebellum, the electric field distribution are more focused as compared to other montage targeting the cerebellar cortex. Furthermore, Lower input evidence of Purkin J cells that result in longer, in larger current flows through the cell membrane may sufficiently compress it for the low maximum electric field strength at the superficial part of cerebellum in compression to neurons in the cerebral cortex. In line with the available neurophysiology physiological evidence, our meta-analysis provides behavioral support for the view that weak DC can alter cerebral functioning. This result may suggest that the cerebellum plays a more central role in motor as compared to non-motor related function. Our analysis do provide reliable, sorry, provide reliable evidence that cognitive performance is also significantly affected in the setting that the cerebellum is not exclusively related to the motor function. Despite the converging lines of evidence, biophysical mechanism that can account for the effect of weak static electric fields on cerebellar physiology and behavior remain ex sorry and behavior remain elusive. However, substantial individual variability in anatomy as well as neurophysiological constitution plays a critical role in efficacy of CDCS. This might also in part explain why in contrast, in contrast to the popular view of polarity-dependent effect of CDCS, neither the anodal nor cathodal CDCS predicted the respective enhancement or impairment in behavior. According to the universal cerebral transform hypothesis, the cerebellum integrates 
internal and external information to optimize performance according to the context. However, in the order to be able to better understand and predict the behavioral effect of CDCS, unfair, sorry, unraveling the working mechanism of the cerebrum on the molecular structure and system level is required. Even so, the main outcomes of meta-analysis support the view that this stimulation is viable approach to investigate cerebral function. The variability in outcome user as well as the applied stimulation parameter across studies should be taken into the account. In particular, our result do not uniquely establish that CDCS is effective in circumstances, sorry, circumstances for reasons we discussed earlier. However, our data do show that low electric current applied to the surface of the scalp can produce, sorry, can produce sorry, can produce effect that may set light on the contribution of the cerebellum in motor and non-motor related performance. But the difficult to predict the direction of the effect relying on current quality for the research on how weak the current established effect on cerebellar tissue and influence functional processes might help to improve CDCS design. Finally, several limitations of the present study should be mentioned. The limited number of studies available for our analysis prevented us from performing sub-analysis to explore questions such as under which circumstances polarity dependent Effect may still be sorry, may still be applicable to CDCS, and which types of function are particularly sensitive to CDCS. Also, our findings do not provide mechanistic insights into the cerebellar workings, and adding neuromaging technique technique to future studies seems a logical next step. Well, in conclusion, disease stimulation is effective in modulating cerebral function, but no support is found for polarity-dependent effect of anodal and cathodal CDCS of enhancing and destructing behavior respectively. Okay, thank you. See you at the next seminar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.